1986, an Italian car manufacturer that we now know as Alfa Romeo introduced a technology concept called Twins Spark Engine. Instead of having one spark plug per cylinder in a typical engine, this technology concept pairs each cylinder with two spark plugs simultaneously. It's been shown to significantly enhance combustion quality, which undoubtedly leads to improved engine performance, efficiency, and emission reduction. This remains true to this day. Alpha first introduced this technology in 1913, before changing its name to Alpha Romeo. At the time, Alpha used this technology in a Grand Prix car called the Alpha 4060 GP, designed by the great engineer Giuseppe Morosi. At the time, this engine was a masterpiece thanks to its advanced technology. The engine had a capacity of 6 liters OHV with 4 valves per cylinder at a 90 degree angle and dual spark plugs. It produced 73 PS and could reach 85 mph. per hour. It's impressive to think that this was achieved 110 years ago. As we know, one spark plug is already pretty good at ignition. So what are the benefits of installing two spark plugs at once? Of course, having two spark plugs per cylinder would result in two ignition sources at different locations. To make things simpler, let's imagine an engine with two valves per cylinder, exhaust and intake. With this concept, the spark plug clearly cannot be placed in the middle because a pair of valves would block it. In this condition, an engineer would inevitably place the spark plug on the side of the chamber or on the dome side. So when the spark plug ignites, the flame has to travel a long way to reach the end of the combustion chamber and burn the air fuel mixture. Even if it's only a fraction of a second, this takes time because the engine is moving tens of times a second. Another way to address this issue is to start the combustion process earlier. This is called ignition advance, which is designed to counteract the short combustion time when the engine is revved at high RPMs. The faster the engine moves, the shorter the combustion time becomes. In a nutshell, this trick gives the ignition process a bit more time to work its magic when the piston reaches the top dead center, allowing it to push the piston back down with maximum power. And of course, it'll also increase the maximum RPM of an engine. This technique is also pretty risky for an engine because at low revs, the combustion interval will increase, which could cause the whole air fuel mixture to ignite before the piston reaches top dead center. This is called pre-ignition, which can damage engine parts because it makes the piston work against an expansion that happens before reaching TDC, which causes a lot of heat in the engine and other mechanical issues. So, to keep the RPMs high without changing the firing order timing, one way to do this is by speeding up the combustion process, not by adding extra combustion interval. Of course, this can be done by using two spark plugs at once, which will help a lot with this combustion process. This can happen because two sources of ignition will reduce the distance between each other and also improve the quality of combustion. This means that, in addition to allowing the engine to run at higher RPM, the dual spark plug or twin spark technology can also improve the quality of combustion, which should reduce emissions and maximize the potential power of an air fuel mixture that is ignited. Just a heads up, the ignition speed during this process also depends on a bunch of other factors, like the type of fuel, octane rating, engine compression ratio, and how well the quality of oxygen mixes with the fuel. There might be other factors we didn't mention in the video, so feel free to add them in the comments section below. Let's get back to the heart of the matter when it comes to twin spark or dual spark. It seems that there are lots of different ways to implement this technology. It's not just about dual spark plugs. For instance, you can install dual spark plugs in asymmetric positions or use different spark plug sizes. All of these have calculations based on engine construction, their respective functions and purposes. That's why this technology isn't applied to all types of engines. Also, this technology is most commonly used in aircraft engines and only secondarily in motorcycles. Okay, let's wrap up the info we've got for you in this video. As usual, if you have any criticisms, suggestions, or questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comments section below. See you in the next videos, and thanks for watching. Thank you.